friends. Thank you for another visit to my channel. And if you're new on this channel, I like to focus on simple things you can do to improve the quality of your life, such as yoga, um, EMF protection, and today I'm gonna to talk about water, structured water. Water ranks only second after oxygen in the hierarchy of importance for our survival. And even though it is well known that our bodies are 75%, approximately 75% water as an adult, um, the molecules of our body are 99% water. And so water is extremely important that you have a clean source of water, a pure source of water, um, there's a lot of discussion about alkaline water, which I'm not going to get into in this video, um, because in this video I want to talk about structured water, which is also known as the fourth phase of water, or living water, or liquid crystal water. So what is the fourth phase of water? Well, everyone knows about um, liquid, ice, which would be the solid, and the gas, which would be the steam. Um, but the fourth phase of water is the liquid crystalline state. So water actually has the ability to undergo adjustments molecularly that render it highly organized. So in the same way that carbon can appear as a lump of coal or a diamond, um, water has that same capacity. And so in this phase, this fourth phase of water, water is no longer H2O, it is H3O4. And this is a highly organized, energized, and highly hydrating type of water. So before we can understand what liquid crystal is, let's just understand what a crystal is. So a crystal is a mineral whose molecules have been organized in a highly structured lattice. And this lattice, because of its highly organized shape, has there's channels that run through, that energy can run through. So a, this is why a crystal is a transducer, an amplifier, and a capacitor. Crystals are also able to process energy, and they're not woo-woo. They are used in esoteric healing methods, but they're also used in things like your computer and ordinary, ordinary technological devices. So just like a crystal, water, when it's subjected to certain environmental processes or certain environmental forces, it can become energized and its molecules can become organized in this crystalline lattice. And this is what is the fourth phase of water. The structure that water takes when it is energized is, um, well, we all know the beautiful, familiar pattern of the snowflake, which is based on the hexagon. The hexagon is two triangles or the tetrahedral shape. This shape is caused by the bonding of the hydrogen atoms. And um, Masaru Umoto, um, a Japanese scientist and researcher, did some groundbreaking research on water crystals and how they form and all the many ways they can form and where they're found and how you can make them yourself. And I'm going to link his book below. So structured water is considered living water because it has the capacitance to hold more energy than normal H2O. And is, it's thus considered more hydrating because it's wetter, it's H3O4. So structured water is wetter water, it's more hydrating water, and it's more easily absorbed into cells. Structured water is formed when water comes in contact with certain forces, pressures, or energy sources. 
one of the most common energy sources is the sun on your water. And that is actually one way I'm going to cover in this video of the different ways to structure your water. And probably the easiest one is to simply take a glass jar and put it out in the sun. And it will absorb the water molecules, will absorb the heat of the sun, the heat and the light, and they will become organized into that beautiful crystalline lattice. So another way that water can become structured outside of heat is coming in contact with certain surfaces or certain processes of nature. So the surfaces would include a what's considered a hydrophilic surface. And this is a surface that is ionized. And so it causes the water molecules to activate. And I'm going to get into a product that is hydrophilic and has that quality of being ionized as, as a negative ionizer. So this can happen in nature when water is running over um, mineral rocks which are hydrophilic and it causes the um, molecules in the water to spin and they collect a charge and they become structured. Another way is the spiraling action itself. The spiral is, is nature's generator. It's nature's natural energy source. And this is actually the secret that nature is showing us everywhere in the secret of per perpetual energy. When water is rushing and tumbling through streams and springs, and the more rocks and minerals it's running through and spiraling through, the more energy it gathers. And so this type of water is, especially if you can just collect your water right from a mountain spring and drink it down, this is probably the most healthy and living water that there is. Um, but there are ways to replicate the spiraling process um, on your own at home. But when you think about all the spirals that we see in nature, in flowers, in pine cones, in seashells, in galaxies, and even universes, everything is spiraling. And so it's the spiraling action which is the energy generator or the energy collector. So. Um, water, anything that makes the water move in a spiral will structure the water. I'm going to get into the ways that you can make your own structured water at home and some of them are absolutely free. So the first one is take your glass jar and on a sunny day leave it out in the sun and um, I'm going to show a picture right here. In my picture, I don't have a cover on my jar, but you definitely want to have it covered. If you can manage to have a, a clear glass cover, that would be the best. And I would say um, minimum, if you can do it a full day in the sun, then you're definitely going to have some energized water. But even four hours would probably work. Um, the next way I'm going to show you is a way that mimics the, and this is also practically free. I like things that are very low cost that you can do at home um, without expensive equipment. But there are things with expensive equipment, um, and we'll get to some of those. <laughs> but that's not necessarily that expensive. So this is a jar of water. And then this is a little funnel. So the funneling movement itself um, will create a vortex. And so remember, the vortex is, stimulates the water to, causes it to gather energy. Even simple stirring your water with a stick does that to a certain degree. Um, but you'd probably have to stir it a while if you wanted to really have liquid crystal water. Um, but this, I've got marbles. And um, if you could use some tumbled rocks, like tumbled uh, stones, like malachite or quartz or whatever you've got, you know, uh, 
black tourmaline would be great, shungite. Any smooth tumbled rock, that would be even better. And the only reason that I didn't use that for mine is um, I'm just in a location where I just can't access everything. So marbles are the best I could come up with and I was happy with that. So, I didn't use a regular funnel from the store because I feel that those are probably BPA plastic. So this is, I just cut uh, a plastic water uh, bottle and then um, and I put my marbles in. And my lar one of my larger marbles is down there so it doesn't fall through. And then you essentially take your water, take some water, and just pour it through. And what it's going to do, now you can see, let's see, yeah, it is running, but it's running slowly. It's dripping. You can see the drip. There's another little stream as well. But it's going to take its time because this is mimicking water tumbling down the mountainside in nature. So it's going to take its time to meander through the marbles, but when it goes in, it's going to be structured water. And I'm telling you, since I've been doing this, I definitely, definitely notice the difference in the taste. It tastes really smooth. So my body was really happy drinking this water. And um, so I'm, I'm, I'm done. You know, I do this all the time. Um, and I have a second secret method, which is no longer a secret, is I use this Organite charge plate and I'm going to show you it's got the flower of life uh, sacred geometry design so this plate is made from organite organite is a passive negative ionizer this is also can be used for EMF protection so I've done another I did another video uh, recently on the sleeping pod the sleeping pod, which is blue and is a little bit smaller than this, but that can also be used to structure your water. So, and that is linked in the, uh, the sleep insomnia video that's on this channel. But basically what you do is you take your water and you sit it on here. Now, if you have a charge plate, you don't need to do the marble thing, but you can, you know, I mean, I do because I'm experimenting a lot with my water and I'm just tasting, experimenting, comparing sun water to uh, organite water, um, to water done in this way. So to charge your water, um, you're just going to set your water on your charge plate and you want to leave it at least 45 minutes for this to work. And how it works is the organite which is um, crystals and metals that have been ground to a fine powder and compressed in a epoxy matrix uh, and which generates the piezoelectric effect, which I speak about in my other videos. So this is actually a generator. Um, and it will cause your water to vortex, even though you won't see it. However, you can do a test and I'm going to share the picture right here. Of the ice test. So to do the ice test, you want to take a glass of water, just like in that picture, and put it on your charge plate or you can also use your sleeping pod and you put it in your freezer and the water will freeze showing that kind of for because the vortex is captured in the ice that you can actually see so this is one way that you can verify that it's working because the spiral the spiraling action is you know the very actually the very fav favorite and best of the water charging methods and there'll be another product that I'm going to link below um, called the Vitalizer Plus that utilizes the spiraling method. Um, but the charge plate can be used also with your food. So if you, like I use it for my food if um, I've got, 
something that maybe is starting to ripen really rapidly um, and I want to buy myself a little bit more time, I'll put it on a charge plate. Um, but the most common way I use it is if I have to buy something that's not organic, which does happen all the time, um, this will give the molecules, the molecular structure of the food, a clockwise or life-giving spin. So food that is um, not life-giving will not spin in a clockwise direction. And you can test that with a pendulum, which I don't have with me, but I've tested it enough times and it definitely works. Organite works. To, so this you can use to correct your food. And I will do another video with just that demonstration. The fourth way to structure water is with a product that I'm going to link below that's called the Vitalizer Plus. And this is a product that you can order through the link. Um, it is an investment, but it has, it comes with a mineral cube which adds ionization to the water. So you can, you can actually even start out with distilled water, which is one of the very most, obviously, most pure water. But in my personal opinion, in the research that I've done on water, I think it's better to have some minerals in your water, particularly magnesium, potassium, sodium, and others, many others in trace amounts. So one of the easiest ways to do this is with, um, if you do like to use distilled water or reverse osmosis water, is you can get a product. Um, there's several products, but one of them right off the top of my head is known as Concentrace, and I will also link that below. Uh, Concentrace is something that you just add like a few drops to um, empty water, um, i.e. distilled or reverse osmosis water. You add a few drops, you remineralize your water, and then you can spin your water or put it in the sun or through your rocks or whatever method you're going to use. The Revitalizer Plus, I believe, it does come with mineral cubes, so you would not have to add the drops. And you can spin your water for a long time. And um, there's all instructions with that product, and definitely you will have some very thorough structured water. Again, structured water is wetter, it is uh, holding more energy, and it is more hydrating. So lastly, I'm going to reference a few books that if you're really interested in this topic, which is absolutely fascinating, um, I'm gonna link these books below. So if you wanna do further research, you can. Dr. Gerald Pollack, world-renowned scientist, has written um, a book, several books, and he's also on YouTube. You can find just his talks. He's done some TEDx talks explaining this fourth phase of water. And his material is very interesting and he really unpacks the mysteries and the capabilities of this amazing substance that many people simply take for granted. Um, there's a book known as Dancing with Water um, by MJ Pangman and Melanie Evans and that goes in depth about structured water and she also gives some ways to make your own structured water that are even different than what I've shown you and I believe on her, her website she has her own product but I don't have any further information about that at this moment um, and then also, if you're really interested in water, you must check out Masaru Emoto, who wrote The Hidden Messages in Water. Um, the late Masaru Emoto, unfortunately. Um, he was a genius and did some experiments with water crystals, and he gathered water samples from different places all over the world, famous springs such as Lourdes and famous places in Japan, and he froze the water and then he looked at the crystal crystals they formed under a microscope. And um, he found some pretty cool things. And so I'm gonna link his website below 
as well as a link to his book. And he wrote other books as well, but the main one I think that put him on the map is called um, The Hidden Messages in Water. Um, Masaru Emoto also did um, experiments with um, another way to structure water that I haven't mentioned, which is chanting, blessing, and prayer. So when you, so he actually collected water, and he actually even had children do experiments with this. Um, he collected water from a place, and he uh, froze it, and he got the water crystal, and then he had like monks or children or you know any normal person chant prayers over the water. And then they refroze and uh, and captured the crystal, and they came out with amazing results. Like water that had been amorphous, meaning water that has absolutely no structure. Like for instance, Tokyo. They they did a test with like Tokyo tap water versus um, a famous spring in Japan, and then um, Tokyo tap water that had been chanted by monks over the water and just comparison of all that. And so that's all on his website. I find it incredibly interesting because I personally, if I'm going to be taking something in my body that is, is so crucial to every single cell, I'd like it to be um, as, as energized and, and as beautiful, quite frankly. Um, because you look at these water crystals, they're like the most beautiful snowflakes and they have their own personality. Like the water from Lourdes is very different from um, other famous springs, springs in Japan, which is also very different from chanted or, or water that has been um, prayed over or blessed. So I think that's all that I have for you today, and I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. And please um, comment below if you have any comments or questions. And as I said, everything I mentioned in this video, I'm going to link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you stay hydrated and really enjoy your water.